It is garbage bag weather today. I think this is actually the first time I've had to garbage bag it, but it is absolutely dumping rain here in the parking lot. We were wrapping the free ride in the shop last night, putting the bumpers on. I sent Chloe a picture of it. Not realizing, I, I never told her I bought this sled. <laughs> We got some technical difficulties here with the jerry can, so little modifications needed. Oh no. Look, didn't even didn't even get the wires. Precision engineering. Does it fit though? Oh, oh my! Like, oh, I was gonna say like love, but we're not quite there yet. Mods? Oh, you're hiding in out of the rain here? Hey, man. I've never seen this much gravel oh. in February. We're, we're just gonna stand here and drink beer all day. Well, you got the beer though. <laughs> you waiting for anything? Are we good? I have no idea how we ended up with this many people here. Wow, this is this is nice. Send it. <laughs> this is wild. This is kind of what the trails in Ontario look like. Oh, I get sprayed with gravel. Ah! <laughs> Today we got Devin Tanner back out with us. It's been a, maybe like two years since we rode with him. He's also on a 146 free ride turbo. It'll be fun chasing him around. I am drenched. Oh god, dude. <laughs> Might try and dump my fuel in. I might regret our 146 decisions here. It is pretty damn icy in through the trees here underneath the six inches of snow, but I think once we get up another couple hundred meters, it's gonna get stupid deep and start to get a little fluffy again. Still a little icy here. Yep, that doesn't surprise me. Good up there. <laughs> uh, I missed both of them on the on the camera, but two trees now in, in five minutes for Hugo. <laughs> Hugo, you on the mods? Oh, uh. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Devin's turbo wasn't working. Really? Yeah. Well, that was his just now. That we we heard it. I <laughs> saved the best part. Go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks you to join us. The 
whole intake in the front's all smashed in. Holy. The bumper split in half. Really? So is Devin going out? The turbo is not even working. Yeah. He's still in braking mode. Okay, are we gonna do some snowmobiling now? I think we gotta let this thing warm up. We've been up here a minute. <laughs> I might be struggling to climb stuff when we get a little higher. I think I'm already struggling. They went to the to the right. tracks not sure how my belt temp is so i was gonna check 48 do my trail sled gets way hotter Remote trigger through here. Fog is so brutal today. The clouds. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, they went up that way. So we've already lost two of our guys today <laughs> with the uh, smash no wheels. Well, one is a little smashed, and then the other one is. The turbo is boosting. Lots of shooting cracks today. So I remote triggered this from probably 100 meters away, close to it. You know, it goes without saying, before we went out today, we checked the Avalanche Canada forecast high across the board so sticking to the more mellow low angle terrain today my belt 
oil temp is going down. Obviously, it shouldn't be. The belt temp sensor isn't really the most reliable piece of tech because it's only measuring the ambient air in there, and there's so much air moving through the clutch guard now <laughs> that it's not giving an accurate reading. Oh, your belt blew? I'm just letting my belt cool. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. What's, uh, what do we got here? Cody? Oh, I decided to play with the trees. Got all cute. Well, it looks like our garlic bread from off. Yeah. <laughs> nice goggles. Dude, uh, I tried to wear them as long as I could, but I can't see anything out of them. I got stuck a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the 146 made it. That's got a 154 skid in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we got Derek at the bottom of the hill here. Gonna try and get some downies. I can't even see him, it's snowing so hard. <laughs> getting tired we're not really revving out now 74 75 now we're gonna drop into some big meadows here <laughs> these ones should be this one should be pretty difficult to pull out of Now you have to get back up. Come on, get up there. This is gonna be a battle. Let's see how long it takes us to get back up. Hugo's gonna fly up. Look at him go. Oh. I'm gonna take my pack out off, get some extra speed going.
thing is, this thing is fine. It's, it just works so well. Especially without that uh, tunnel box, that just flew right up that. <laughs> Your GoPro definitely didn't get any nothing there. That's where you need your downhill hop overs. Get back on your track. Okay. Hook our line. Hopefully get some speed. <laughs> I love this shit. I think this would be the perfect time to do our creek to peak mission. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, probably just enough track. snow to punish ourselves. You know, the bottom would be easy. Well, 146 to you know make it so that we have some challenge for once and it's not so easy. <laughs> Players things. Okay. You know that looks pretty nice on a Polaris. Where to? That way! Andale! We have a embarrassing amount of fuel left here right now. We've done a little bit too much sitting around today, letting our belts cool and just, you know, what a big group. Sometimes you gotta wait on people, but try and burn this fuel and then get out of here. These guys are all passing me. Time to track, folks. Holy shit! That's a massive avalanche right Nobody saw that. places. That looks good, man. The wrap with the bumpers.
See, that's what I don't miss. I'm to the bar right now, and we're just bogging. <laughs> it is pretty fun. It's totally different than this, eh? Sure. Jason? Yes, sir. Do you want to try? Kind of. You want to try this? I may hop on for a minute. Okay, now we're on Jason's Chaos Boost. He's also got a lightweight hood on here. So much more wheelie than Jordan's sliding. I actually find the free ride, once it hits an old track, it actually picks up quicker and goes. <laughs> Trivergence. That is the best to do I've ever thrown. <laughs> yeah, you like that? <laughs> well, how you like the 1486 free ride turbo? Yeah, that's the best to do I've ever ridden, actually. Yeah, hey. It's super fun, but yeah, it builds speed really good. It seems to. Another thing I noticed that I didn't ever notice on any other skidoos is how well it goes downhill. You yeah. get a little bit of input from your feet. And it just does what you want to do. I said you disagree with going downhill. No, I just think body positioning on it. Like, I feel like I can get locked into the snowmobile bed. Well, 140K, and I guess that's it for this belt. Uh, it's not fully blown the cord yet, but right there, it is starting. I don't know if I should take it off or just run it till it blows. Take it off. Oh. Hugo's got a super low riser on here, but now we are on the 154 turbo. Yeah, this sled is definitely gets around the best out of all of them. Like we're flying. You should try this compared to that. Here you go, I'm lending your sled out to people. That's a rocket ship. <laughs> Holy man. I thought the visibility would get better going down, but it's actually getting worse. Somebody hitting that stump. Are you good? Is it bad? <laughs> oh, my belt is blown. I understand this is difficult conditions for a belt today, but it's still unacceptable. I've taken lots of breaks to let the belt cool down. It's three o'clock and we're not even out of fuel yet. What does that tell you? Bam. Not even on it. <laughs> yeah, you're about to blow. Oh. Oh, no. 
Uh, I'm out of fuel, so I think it's time to head her. Wow. <laughs> it was a lot easier climbing into here than going out. This is what we call the, the filter. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're running out of fuel. Oh, yeah. I tell you. Following the ruts out is a whole lot harder than making them going in. Do you even feel that? <coughs> feel what? <laughs> the stick on your back? Oh no, I felt something, but what am I getting? It's a pretty big stick. <laughs> <laughs> Should I keep it? Yeah. It's your symbol. Jason, how are you making out? What's the hold up? Good, I had to put some gas in this thing around out. We're on our way. So we never inspected Jordan's damage here. Honestly, it looks really good. So this was, what was this from? Is that from the stump? Yeah. yeah wow, that's the, char <laughs> the charcoal off the burnt stump. Yeah. Well, thank God for that bumper. Else it would have probably smeared in there right into your pipe, eh? And you tweak the arm? Yeah, I just put a new oh. one. It's actually like, a, it's the arm that's gonna be on the 2025s. Yeah. See, that's it not just bad. has a nice, it's engineered to be faster. I, I started sputtering down one hill. I'm like, oh no, don't you do this to me. It quit on me. I went really high. I know. Tracks. Quit on me going down the hill. So I coasted oh. down to the hill. Then I couldn't get on the single track and then I couldn't get started again. <laughs> Hooligans. It's a weekend here in the Boulder lot. And it is damn quiet. The snow is freaking amazing up there though. <laughs> That's how you dent that tailgate. Yeah. Feel really dented you know, at that time. That was already dented from that back stopper here. When I hit above, oh. the balance is down with too much weight. Was it, are you, was it sitting below that lip before? It's always been right. <laughs> the face of a born loser. Lock the keys in the truck. Yeah. What you doing there? Uh, I'm gonna take this antenna, maybe, to try and unlock my truck. Just snap it off. You don't need that anyway. I might keep it. Spinning right through. Come on. Yeah. I offered him a microfiber to make it a little bit easier on it. He said, no, this old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Electricians, just ram her in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a couple pry bars, a little bit of blood, and we're in. <laughs>